Hello everyone and welcome to Start to Finish for Skies of Arcadia. My name is Matt Boyer. I am joined by Megan Boyer. That's me. And this is episode 45. I actually know where we are in this. Wow, I have never at any point known what episode it is. That's fine. Yeah, I guess I don't really let you know that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't, like, not on purpose. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's going on in the upper right? What's, what's the bridge to nowhere up there? Do you see that? I do see that. What's going on there? Uh, let's get a little closer and see. It's a bridge to nowhere. This, hmm, that's concerning. That's weird. Maybe that's where their airships come and dock. That would make more sense than just. Well, let's dock there. Okay, let's dock there. Hi, we've brought a large ship. I'm sure this won't freak anyone out. Personal we, space, everyone. <laughs> we brought the Prince of Alua. That's fine, right? I wonder where we are. It said Yafatoma on the sign in the sky. Whole town came out. And they're ready to fight. Oh yeah, she's gonna start some shit. Look at her. Mm hmm that's right, it's not. Mm-hmm. Wait, what do you eat to make your hair that color? <laughs> it doesn't help that you've got it in the Pippi Longstocking pigtails. Uh-oh. We're not invaders. I'm like, the army! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> no, we're not invaders. We're tourists. <laughs> this is not how invaders are supposed to behave. Everyone knows that when he landed in uh, Mexico, Cortez just grabbed hands <laughs> with the f other person on his ship and just jumped up and down. It's t it's true. There's there's pictures. Stop invading me! I'm. <laughs> Can we watch him come down too. Can I attack them now? assume your default pose. I would like Everyone to assume a hereditary monarchy everywhere you go. What would you like to say? I, I, I don't remember. That was fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> your magical power into, into interrupting me is... Uh... <laughs> Okay. We'll let Ika talk. You'll come out of this very confused. Okay, so the yams fell from the sky, but it was okay because we had the baskets out. <laughs> She's gonna go like Calvin's dad on the princess here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cue... As you know, I am your advisor and have been for some time. Key, key evil royal vizier. <laughs> Yep, there's no oh. way he's got everyone's best interest at heart. Come now. <laughs> you haven't seen any foreigners. We're the first ones. We do, we do, we do. Shake it. <laughs> You're doing great, Dad. You're doing great. Just pat me on the back here. Just pat me on the back. You're doing great. I believe in you, Dad. I believe Shake in you. Shake it, Miraji. Yeah. Well, we cut away from Micah in a great big hurry. <laughs> just don't, just do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> We don't have the sensor to keep her from just swearing in front of her the entire time. Mikado has gained a very quick understanding of Ika. Just cut her off as soon as you can, or just nonsense is going to happen. We need you to give us your sacred treasures that summon the under otherworldly things from beyond the horizon so we can have them and not anyone else. We're trustworthy. I travel with women. You can believe me. That's they only have one woman in the entire value in army. I have two. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and tell you where it is. Plus a bunch of other stuff we just kind of threw in there. Yeah. That's yeah, thank, that, we, we, yep. Mm -hmm. I, I, sorry, I was thinking about food. <laughs> you didn't, she was thinking of how she's going to eat with sticks again. 
So we're going to throw you into the volcano. Can we have it when we retrieve it? <laughs> he didn't say. <laughs> yeah, he said retrieve it for us, not give it to you. In we go! But Vice is like, that's fine, we're gonna... Yeah, I had to run around! Yeah, run around! What's this? What's this? What's this? It's What's this? It's a jar. Burning blue moon stone. Stones. Moon stones. Moon stones. Blue moon stones. I think you can um, recruit a couple people. I'm gonna try. Also, you're gonna get, get that moon fish. Where's my button for it? Oh, I'm not close enough. Hang on. There we are. <laughs> Sorry, I had the wrong horrible noise. The moonfish was caught. I love the use of the passive voice there. Like, you didn't catch it, it just was caught. The moonfish Swans. was killed. Swans are such terrible assholes. They are. I kind of like them. You're a bunch of dicks. Bye. All Don't right, chase so me. One time, many years ago, we were at a small, um, we were at a small zoo in outside of Kansas City and it had a duck pond and a couple of swans in said duck pond. <laughs> it's a shell, you idiot. Uh, I... Mm. Look, it's, no, it's a Nautilus shell. That's totally a Nautilus. They just drilled... Ah, uh, it looks like a pirate cat to me. <laughs> this is an interesting Rorschach test. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, of course, we're in the land of wind and water. It's a shell. Vice. It's a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> As established, he has the one interest. <laughs> anyway, Duck Pond. Um, it had a couple of swans in it, and the swans, for whatever reason, had decided it was time for all the ducks to just leave. So they were charging all of the ducks until they left, and there was one duck who was just, nah, my pond too. So he was just like, I swear he was trolling them. He was just calmly swimming around. They'd chase him out. He'd come back. And at one point, he ducked underwater. This is that stair that went to nowhere. It's oh, the elevator. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay, that makes more sense. And then the duck just like blooped up from under the water right in front of the swan, scared the shit out of the swan, and they left that duck alone. It was great. Kind of cute. Very cute. Oh, boy. Um, fire consume my enemies, fire consume my enemies. <laughs> I was going to say, who, who in this party is likeliest to have the potty mouth? Back Ica. off, back off. Sorry, stretcher behind the wall. Uh. This isn't Zelda. Sorry. Oh, wait. I got, I got the tummy rumbles. Hang on. You have a rumbly in your tumbly? Yeah! Do you have the cupel evolution chart handy? I, well, I can find it, but boy, it's Is fun. there a picture of a keyblade on your screen? No. What's, what's going on over there? I'm, no, I'm just looking at fun home things. It's a, it's, it's a big cast iron key that you hang on the wall, and it's, you, it's got hooks for your other keys. So I like you, that. You hang your keys on keys. It's cute. Oh, my God, dub ship. What? No, we're sending the smallest <laughs> ghost. Look for the prince. Get in the bathtub. Go over the river. You're canceled. Mm. Okay, we'll um, we'll leave the trauma alone there. Ah, siblings, aren't they marvelous? Despite the fact that I have an older sister, I don't know the answer to that. We barely spoke when I was a child. <laughs> she left me to die when the dog <laughs> ate me, and I was murdered horrifically by an, by a dog, and I died, and I've been doing all of these as a ghost. The amazing thing is, when this story <laughs> came up years later, when I was in front of both of you, what, just a couple of years ago, they were both, it was told in this exact manner, <laughs> and... Christy was immediately very defensive of something that happened. Despite having no defense. And the fact that this happened 30 years ago. <laughs> Ooh, 
that's, that's pretty. very pretty. That's a texture. <laughs> it's just the one. This game looks. It's still a beautiful <laughs> game, but it, it, sh it sure looks different than I remember. Only a little bit, though. Push. Okay, so if you make Cupel. All right, hang on, hang barf on. Barf up everything. I don't. You need. I don't want you to tell me what they are. I want you to. I'm gonna tell you how many of the Chams and Abrick Chams I have, and you're gonna tell me if we can make something dumb. So, so that's still to be, okay. So, bleh. I have 18. Let me, let me arrange these. I have 18 Chams and one Abrick Cham. We cannot make the dumb thing just yet. Kai says, uh, "Is there something fun I can make that's gonna that can only do with an abric jam?" Do you understand the chart? I, because I, I, I'm just far away. Do you understand how the chart is working? Because the charts are kind of. Weird. of um... Okay, I don't know how powerful. I don't, know if this oh, I don't care if it's powerful. Okay. She casts magic. Feed him two chams and one abric cham. All right. All right. So we go to the blade, and then okay. I want to I want to go from the blade to the cham, to the abric. Yes. Amazing. That said, cannon. I made a cannon. We're going to get into <laughs> battle first before I do anything else with those. Okay. Yeah. Go. Just go fight somebody. Ah, let's go. Oh yeah, that game's hard. That I don't understand Go. I I want to. You got me a Go board. I'm pretty sure I still. I don't think it's, that's one of the things that got lost here. in the move. It, it was small enough because it folded up. No, we tried to play it, and I was just like, "This is too." Hey, it's a foreigner. <laughs> Step right up. <laughs> what? If we didn't know, we only barely knew about Woo! them. How are they? Whoa. Woo! Guys, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to face the other way. Woo! It's working. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm I on a top it. ship. I love the noise this makes. I'm a tub boy. <laughs> I'm on an adventure. Where am I going? Go over the waterfall. All right. Uh, well, first of all, before I do that, let me see if there's anywhere else I can go. I think when I go over the waterfall, I can't really easily get back up. Oh, there's treasure over there. I need to. Okay. Hang on. Um, where's the switch for that? Did you just get off at the dock? But see, I need to get on the other end of this. Oh. You see, there's treasure over there. I want that treasure. But I don't... Yeah, it it's a little tricky. Well, first of all, let's go over here. Okay. This seems like it's only accessible... Ooh, they got those dumpling sticks. That's what they call them, dumpling sticks. Um, I believe in uh, the parlance of Phoenix Wright, these are hamburgers. <laughs> what this thing's actually called? They're just dumplings. Dumplings on sticks. Rude. Well, let's find out. Give me some tea. That reminds I me. I would love this in the actual. We, 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 okay. I said earlier, I don't want to build a house. I, I want to build a house, and I want it to have a little exposed river going through it. And that's what the cat will drink from. Remember in in Wilderness Lodge, they had the the, the little river actually rose in the hallway? I do. In the lobby. Oh, uh, Wilderness Lodge. Ika, you're so stupid. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> also, Ural is also kind of stupid. You and Fina should get along great. Do we have to do the... Do we have to do the plot before we can... I think so. Okay. I, I don't... I don't think... They're going. To, I don't think anyone has any reason to come hang out with us. Push him into his tea. Stop judging people on their marital qualities. Yeah. Their marital aptitude. Hundred percent agree. Go back in there and push him into his tea. Better yet, bring him out here and push him in the water. <laughs> it's refreshing! Sploosh. Alright, let's... Alright, so we're gonna... 
Your tub boat's fine, but I've got to loot your city. Fair. Be right back. I Be mean, right you back. are you are Westerners. I I. All right. Oh crap! I need to put that somewhere else. Um, let's figure this out. It's okay. Over there. Got it. Got it. I know what I'm doing. I can do this. It's probably going to be like $7 in there. Alright, excuse me. Run this over. Dock here. Everyone enjoy my horrible song. I like the music here a lot. Yeah. What's this say? It's very serene. What's that say? What's that say? What's that say? It doesn't say anything. What's that say? It's not something. It's a turtle. Just because there's a sculpture of it doesn't mean they worship it. Maybe they just think turtles are great. Turtles are great. Yeah, we worship lions and George Washington here. <laughs> I mean... Mm, that... And weird horses. And obelisks. I mean, if we're honest, we probably do worship one of those. Save us, mighty obelisk. I meant George Washington, but okay. Save us! Did we I know not what we have become. Did I tell the story about the the tip of the monument? I think so. Okay. In case I didn't, I'm not going to. Just to all <laughs> forever in suspense about what I could possibly be talking about. It's secretly a rocket ship. Ha ha! I've conquered you, boat. <laughs> I got a moonberry. I was really hoping Zibble and Bane was in there. That would be amazing. <laughs> but he's just like really grateful. <laughs> um, so I haven't been in these middle buildings yet. Let's figure out the path. Okay, it's not that hard. Yeah. Right. Camera does not stay what I think it's going to be doing. Excuse me. No luck throwing your little sister in the water yet. If you need any help, let me know. What? What? Why would you do that? I'm just going to go get like a an, an 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 adult. An adult? Yep. All right, I see Kunai up top in the uh, under glass. That's a good place for them. And that is... And then there's a very, very awesome uh, Nodachi, I believe, in front of Vise. That's too long to be a katana. And then we've got flip-flops and... Well, I guess they'd just be sandals. Your uh, kung fu shoes. Some, <laughs> we've got then some stacks of fabric, a map, and boxes of chocolate above the shoes. Uh, excellent I would, weapon store. I would like to no longer be a sword wielder. I would like to buy those neon green nunchucks, please. <laughs> Obviously. And uh, the bull and the uh, the elephant bull hook to what is behind his head. I'm not looking at that. He's handsome. He's very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know that. That's a handsome weapon merchant. All the weapon merchants I've met up until now are nightmares. Like the big, uh, the big guy a bobo looking dude with all in the Sailor's teeth. Island. Yeah. All right, so those guys are outlaws. Your weapons or your life. They did give us a choice. Jetta. Sword and blade. Yep, I'll take that. Thank actually, you. Actually, you, you need that. Oh, awesome. Well, now I have it. You need that for a thing you're doing. The yin wing. I forget what. I just remember it's you need to have it. That might be what the fortune teller wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to give Enrique the ability to put people to sleep. <laughs> like I do whenever he speaks. Uh, it's. I mean, he is a politician. All right. That's going to lower hit chance. That's just straight up better in every way for Ika. And that is better in every way for Fina. It'd be better for Enrique, too. Come here, bud. Wear this long cloth, magic boy. Oh, nice. Magic defense and will. This is fantastic. I want that for Fina. I might want it for... 
Let me get a second one. I might give that to Enrique. He has the Warrior's Heart, which gives us extra SP. That's, that's good, but 45 to a stat. That's a good time. Like, come on back now, you hear? I'm over it. He's he's, uh, he's, he's he's dead to me. He's repeating what he's what you know. He got that off like TV or something. He thought that's <laughs> what they actually say. All right, let's see if I need to restock on anything in the items. Ooh. <laughs> you, you had a parasol for a time. I did have a parasol. I um I got it in Mitsukoshi and Disney World. Oh, I broke the back door. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. Woo! I got your uh, secret stash. And the, the and it's zombie sat up. We're good. The very nice lady working the cashier thought we were completely insane. Yes. Because we kept running up to. <laughs> we kept. Is she resting her chin on the counter? <laughs> I'm falling down. Is she, <laughs> that's what Dickens does. He rests his chin on it. No. So, Epcot has a. Uh, it has the only. There's a Japanese department store called Mitsukoshi. There are two of them. There's one in Japan and there's one in Disney World because, of course. Um, and yeah, we kept, like, we, we got in that store and we just split up. And so we kept going up to the cashier with different, and she didn't realize we were together <laughs> until I was attempting to pay for this parasol. And you came running up to me like, I got to show you something. I got to show you something. And she's like, oh, do you two know each other? <laughs> And then we bought a replica sword of Soji Okita, and she thought we were nuts because we were so excited about this damn sword. And, and I was, we lost the sword. We did. It, it got, got lost, lost in, in it was one of the things that I lost in the move. Well, you know what? If she somehow she's still working there a decade later, we'll go buy it again. They did still have them when we were there yeah. last time, so it's something, it's something I could replace. I know. We were trying to explain to her that we were so excited to find it because people in the United States don't know Soji Okita. And she was just like, all right, sure, crazy people. <laughs> yeah, thanks to... Um, I got my start doing goofy Let's Plays by doing a write-up of me playing Hakuoki Demon of the Fleeting Blossom, which is... I'm going to go over this waterfall. Hang on. Okay. Oh, boy, waterfall. Uh, um, uh, oh, jeez. Game over. No, I'm fine. That was actually you're you're supposed to do that. That's it's That's intense. a way to get around. Haha. <laughs> um I'm stuck. Hang on, I can find a way out. Maybe I can just disembark up here. Oh look run at over the, ducks. the ducks. I don't want to run over the ducks. Hey duck. Look at the ducks. <laughs> um so yeah, I, I started out by by playing that. It was like the first LP that I did. And um so I ha have this huge attachment to the Shinsengumi and that era and the like the Meiji Restoration era of Japan. It's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Did not expect to fall in love at the uh, time period. And um, various beautiful men. And they are beautiful men, yes. It's it's a good time. That's And they released that like a million times on a million different platforms, so it's easy to find. It's a visual novel. It's a good time. I recommend it, legitimately. <laughs> You know, sir. Bye bye. Okay, that's all I have to say. Clear out. I have my Kamari ball. Oh, what the? There's a lady. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Who just barged into my house? I will say, while Vice doesn't understand anything about this other culture, he does not come across as judging it. Yeah. It's green tea. Have some. It's good. Which, which I like. There's, yeah. there's an honest curiosity to him. He's like bewildered. But it's a charming. But it's, it's a, it's a bewilderment of like, look at all this cool stuff I'm seeing. Yeah. Not why are these weird. Oh, this that's like me. A Ooh, candy. Vise, <laughs> uh, that's Excedrin. Oh. All those ads in the 80s, those were, uh... Those were aimed at Vise. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, actually. Oh, they used to have... The 1980s were the best time for televised PSAs. 
That's well, true. No, there were some public service announcement about, hey kids, don't eat the pill bottle, don't eat what's in the pill bottles in your parents' medicine cabinet. Hey kids, your parents keep the candy inside the medicine cabinet. It tastes like butt. Keep eating it. It'll get better. Hello, Kerala. It's a little surprising. I thought that surely one of the other nine people here would be your equal. Wasn't that the cat in... Kilala. Kilala. Look at me, schooling you on something Inuyasha related. Inuyasha related, oh. I learned a lot about that show. You did. Oh, she's ready to just hop on board. Great. Great. <laughs> and by remodel, I mean tear it down and start over. All right, cool. Let's go holla at Urala. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was... That was easy. That was, <laughs> I thought that would be later. Nope. She's like, I'm a builder. You suck. I'm coming aboard. Make way. This island right this, this island right directly in front of you is really intimidating. Oh yeah. <laughs> God, okay. how cool would it be to live near and or on a floating island? Oh. I don't, mm, I don't know. Oh, I'm just angry that I can't do that. I'm, mm, I mean, I technically Earth is a floating vessel of some kind. I mean, technically, we're all floating in dark matters. It's no, I'm just saying, there's, if you look at it from a certain... From the, the big Don't bang. stop making fun of me. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's just like... A, that is a technicality that does nothing for me. I'm just saying, if you want to live on something where there's really nothing under you... I, if you want to drive fast, and we are hurtling through space. Why? <laughs> Fine, I'm never going to talk again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if we want to get really technical... I've legitimately... What am I doing? I've legitimately forgotten what I'm doing. You're going to holla at Irala, which okay. I know is a joke I've made before, okay. and not just on this video. But no, like, aside from that, what am, what is, what is... what what What's the plot? What am I doing? You're going to Mount Kazai. Oh, okay. To get the moon crystal back. You're right, you're right. I thought I was doing something else. No, you're, I mean, but I didn't know what I was you're doing. You're farting around. That's... <laughs> Fair. I was kind of wandering around wondering if someone was going to betray me. <laughs> uh, the Grand Vizier and his son are going to betray you. Yes, I was looking for them to betray me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you just get it over with? <laughs> Hi, join up. Hi. Your sister's coming too. <laughs> you were here three minutes ago. I don't know. I should definitely... <laughs> this, this is the part. If, I, if we had played this for a little bit longer, I'd be like, oh, oh, wait, 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 stop, kill it. And then I would resume from here the next day. <laughs> We've kidnapped her, or the other way around. One or the other. She kind of kidnapped herself. Ah, like Princess Garnet in Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> Which I think is like the only Final Fantasy game that you potentially care about that you have not seen. I've seen the I've seen the important part. You've seen cutscenes. I've seen the end. There's a lot more of that game. I've I don't remember any of it. I've seen a still of Atomos about to devour a city, which you say in motion is actually quite disturbing. It sure is. As a scene, Gosh. but the still is really funny because mm, he hasn't so started good. to. Atomos is a big, is a giant like city-sized blowfish, and he opens his mouth real big and just sucks everything in. It's amazing. And ah, guys, that that the, part's really good. The still the is the just, really weird. Is just this giant pink blowfish just hovering in the air, just with his eyes closed and his mouth open. It looks like he's just yawning. It's hilarious. Which is why I never want to see that full cutscene because I don't want to be disabused of that notion <laughs> of Atomos just. <sighs> All right, what's happening over here? How are you guys? Why is everyone running away? Oh, Be ship parts. Ship parts. Give me ship parts. Ah! Whoa! Check out this diving suit. Yes. Diving suits freak me out. Look at these cleavers. How are these ship parts? Here's a ship. Hello. 
Wow. Oh. We're departing. Would you like to buy some ship parts? I would. Hmm. I. Yamato Spirit. Yes. This is Khan. Hi, Khan. I'd like that. Oh, hi, Khan. Yeah, thank you. Um, I do like how it always tells you their names. So the three foot cannon is way better than that. This is very short range. I don't know what. To want that. Want that. Blueheim. What are you doing over there? I just. My ring clonked against the lamp. Okay. If you ever hear weird noises on the recording audience, it's probably me. <laughs> probably me just messing around with stuff. So I've got those. I can't get complete kits yet. Speaking of Japan, I have to tell this story, and it's, it might be a little bit of a you had to be there, but I'm so angry at Matt. So <laughs> there's a Mystery Science Theater. Um, oh, okay. There's a movie that Mystery Science Theater did some years ago called uh, That Was Prince of Space. Possibly. No, That Was Prince of Space. There were two... It's an old Japanese film from, like, the 1950s with really bad dubbing. And at one point, there's, like, a valet or something, and he's using this big duster thing to, like, brush off the hood of a nice car. And one of the bots, in making fun of the way these movies are dubbed, goes, there's dog hair all over the car. Why do you think that is? Hmm? And because we're weird, we think this is the funniest thing in the world. It's very it's funny. It's very funny. And we frequently say it to each other context-free. We were... <laughs> So a couple weeks ago, we, we have a lot of fun, you guys. We do. We were walking back from somewhere, and I saw some guy with a big feather duster dusting off the hood of a nice SUV, and it was all I could do not to just, like, fall down laughing on the sidewalk, and you guys, Matt didn't see him. I was looking somewhere else at the on, time. You were on his side of this. You were closer to the road. You were closer to him than I was, and you didn't see him. I did not see him at I'm all. I'm so angry at you for not seeing him. It was like the culmination of one of our stupid inside jokes, and you didn't see it. That's fair. Can I look at these? No. Nope. I guess I mean I can look at them, but I can't yeah, talk about can't, them. You can't. No, you have you have no observations. You were just gobsmacked. Well, I guess I need to make up my shame, so we're going to go to Mount Kazai, and on the way there, I'll think about what I've done. Wait, wait where are we? What's this? Ah! Oh, oh, no! You guys, next time on Start to Finish, the motherfucking water temple. This is gonna go great. This is gonna go great. <laughs> yes, just get good job. Just like that. Just just See you next time. We're all gonna die. Start to finish for Skies of Arcadia will return tomorrow. Thanks for watching!